So, one to liberate the people, and two to transform the. Don't go to. Would you vote or vote the virgin? I don't know. All right, all. Let Let's begin here. Let's begin. I, you, we had a very interesting three days. Some very heated up, uh, but finally, uh, many say it's a bittersweet for you. A return of the term limits, but a removal on the ceiling of the presidential edge. What do you have to say? I, I am first of all disappointed, and uh, I think it's, it's an eye opener to Ugandans. They voted a parliament which is 90% predominantly NRM. So there is no way you are going to plant mangoes and expect to invest guavas. So we tried everything. We tried martial arts, we failed. We tried debate, we failed. We tried voting, we failed. So the majority has taken the day. It's sad, but that's it. And secondly, Ugandans like spectating. They just watch us on TV like it is a soap or like it is a movie. In Togo, they came to the street and burned the parliament down, but people are just spectating. So I think where we've reached, we just needed 145 MPs. Only 145 to deny President Museveni. But we've failed to get it. Is this an opportunity for you to go back to the grassroots and build structures to be able to get the numbers in the next house? Uh, this thing came by gun. It is very unlikely it can live by ballot. It's the term a, limit. It's a scenario. The term limit inclusion. Uh, share with me your immediate reaction to the fact that now you have a return on term limits in the Constitution. That is useless because President Museveni will be president up to 2023. Then if he gets another term, he will be president up to 2030. Then if he gets the last term, he will be president up to 2037. Now, 2037, I would even be too old to be in Kampala. You could have, you could be still available to run for office and probably run for office of the president. But by 2037, I will be about 56 years. So I think we have been duped. The term limit is not going to serve any purpose. President Museveni is most likely going to be president until he dies. The Your colleagues seem to be excited that at least the term limits have returned to the uh, to the constitution. Uh, it's like removing money from one pocket and putting in the other. It still belongs to the same person. You cannot be excited for restoration of term limits. The behavior of parliament, and of course many will question you yesterday, yeah. when you uh, flung yourself over the table, uh, pictures that will be shared for quite some time, to remove the mic from the Honorable uh, Member of Parliament who was claiming that the people found in the chaplain say were praying. Do you have any remorse over that? I regret. I should have, I should have beat his ears the way they cut the ears of someone in the presence of Isn't Jesus. Isn't that unparliamentary? No, if I, if I had a chance for my religion, I should have removed the ears of Honorable Solomon. But I failed. I tried to dive. I could not reach there. So I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Thank you, Honorable. Thank you very much. Honorable, come, come.